There was a lot of rewriting with Thomas. It was, it was, um, it always kind of, it start, it always was a very straightforward story of a character making a bunch of friends, uh, you know, realizing there was an outer world to the one he was in, uh, and working to get out. The biggest shift, I guess, was actually how I handled the final act, because the the original plan was that the all the characters that you meet in the start of the game and that be become friends go through a process where they join up and become one super character who inherits all their abilities and then the final levels are an escape basically of that one combined character. Which was cool but gameplay wise didn't work uh, because you were suddenly god and it wasn't a fun game anymore because you could do whatever you wanted. Um, I never got that working in a way I liked, so what, what I ended up doing was shifting it so it became a story about these characters sacrificing themselves essentially and becoming tools, these kind of interactive objects that could then be used by a new cast of characters who are introduced right at the end of the game. And I like that, I liked that they sacrificed themselves, I like that you know, Thomas, never, the star of the game, never escapes the game, that's, that's an, interesting, an interesting thing, a little bit Hitchcockian. Um, that you, you, you go with one group of characters for most of it and then suddenly it flips. I don't think I pulled it off quite as well as Hitchcock did. Um, <laughs> but, but yeah, so I think there's a, uh, that was an interesting one. And those kind of evolutions and that kind of gameplay leading the way story went and story leading gameplay was something that was going on throughout the process.